Okay, welcome to this tutorial on creating um, objects or models, I guess, really, in, in 3ds Max and getting them into MovieZoo. A couple disclaimers, I'm not an expert at 3ds Max. Um, I come from a Mac uh, background for the last several years, so I use things like uh, Cinema 4D, uh, Modo, um, and stuff like that. I, I, I know 3ds Max from my past a little bit. Um, I've, got a, I've been trying to relearn it a little bit here. Um, it's changed quite a bit. So um, by no means am I an expert. I know enough to get me by and to teach you how to do this um, and to have been able to figure this out. Um, so uh, also this is not a modeling tutorial. Um, it's going to be a very simple model. It's just designed to show you um, basically how to create textures and export models and textures so that you can get them into MovieZoo. I'm not going to be creating anything very exciting here. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's get started on um, how to get this done. Alright, so I'm going to put perspective view here. I'm going to create a standard box and I'm going to do keyboard entry. Um, by the way, this uh, here is a um, system that I set up through the Customize um, Unit Setup menu. Um, I don't actually know what this means uh, uh, or why we're using these settings. There's a uh, in the forums or community board on MovieZoo.com. There isn't a video uh, link to a YouTube video that teaches you how to do this. Um, the video is designed to teach you how to get objects from um, 3D Studio Max into the Unreal Engine using uh, ActorX, but the ActorX plugin does not seem to be working with my version here of 3DS Max uh, 2011, so I had to just do the standard ASC uh, export. Um, and I'm going to show you that, but um, if you want to know what these uh, units are, what they mean, um, I really couldn't tell you, but uh, it seems to work very well in terms of scale. What I'm going to be doing here is creating just base, a basic model again. Um, it's going to be a footstool. So what I'm going to do here is uh, put in a length of, uh, let's say, 24 by 24 by 36. And just uh, clicking on Create. Um, and there I have my box. So the next thing I want to do is go over here to the Modify tab. And I'm going to put a Edit Poly. Um, modifier so that I can uh, get into edge uh, polygon mode and so on and so I'm gonna right now I'm gonna select you know, just clicking on these outside edges here holding down control and uh, let's put in any uh, a chamfer on the edges here the units up and iterations up a few times just kind of rounding off these uh, corners and checkbox and um, that looks pretty good I think I'm going to also grab the polygons around um, the box here put a couple of loops into it Again, it's going to be a real simple model here. And then I'm going to let's do an inset, a little bit of an inset there. And I'll just scale those in. Okay, and then there's my model, my footstool. And next up, I'm going to be doing some uh, texturing. Okay, now uh, to get the textures on this model, I'm going to be in polygon mode. I'm going to put a multi sub object texture on it, but in order for that to do anything, um, I need to uh, put some IDs on these uh, different parts of this footstool. So I'm just going to select that, that loop around the middle there, and um, we'll say we'll set that to ID number two, and then edge. And probably just go in 
into a pressing Alt W, go into a side view here. Polygons, I'm going to set the ID to 1. Press enter, and I'm going to select ID 1 and ID 2, and then I'm going to invert and set that ID to 3. So now I have uh, three different ID channels here. I'm going to maximize this viewport. Um, now I can go in and uh, make this, uh, or put a, a multi-sub object on this and have the different textures show in different places. So I'm going to, the material, I have to get out of uh, this. Press the M for Material Editor. Uh, if you haven't used uh, 3ds Max in a while or haven't used it at all, um, when you uh, open this, you may see this node-based, um, what's called the Slate Material Editor, which I'm sure is, works great and is very powerful. Um, but I didn't want to take the time to learn how to do it, so I just figured out how to go back to the old style um, basic one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm click on uh, a material sample standard, and I'm going to go to multi sub object. And it really doesn't matter here, I'm just going to hit discard, set the number to three, and hit OK. And uh, for now, I'm just going to change these two colors so we can see how it works on the model. Let's pick red and blue, and I don't know, yellow. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into my model. And uh, for some reason, you do this and this is not showing up, uh, you might want to click the Show Standard Map and Viewport button. Um, if this is colored like this one's colored, um, it's not pressed, so you'll want to press it. And um, so now the way this, this uh, works is uh, if I were to import this or export this right now and import it into MovieZoo, um, it would not work. Uh, basically, I would have one color on this model. Um, I've figured out, and I think the case is, and I could be totally wrong, uh, this is just something that, that I found worked for me, that you have to have at least one texture on this in order for it to import um, for you properly so that you can make changes to it uh, and you could have more textures but that's going to take a lot of memory so probably the best thing to do what I figured I would do is just bake the materials and then uh, use that texture to import into MovieZoo. So one of the things you want to do first um, and, and again like I said I could be wrong on some of the stuff um, this is just what I'm used to doing from the old days when I used to use this program to create models for the Unreal Engine. Um, I would first uh, create a UV map and make it a, a uh, mapping parameter that makes sense. Obviously, in this case, would be a box. Um, then I would do a uh, UV unwrap or UV unwrap UVW modifier. So now, if I were to go here into the uh, UV editor, I can see uh, that we have three uh, three materials here, and if I select them, the UVs for all those particular materials would show in the uh, map, and I can select all the all, all IDs. And um, so, and for the time being, I have uh, more or less uh, properly mapped texture, then I could create a material with and use as a bitmap image to import with my model. Okay, from this point, there's actually a couple of ways you can do this uh, that I found that will work. And um, it, it really depends on what your goal is here. Uh, if you wanted a, a text or a model inside of MovieZoo that you could change the colors on uh, independently like all three of these different uh, textures if you wanted to be able to just customize the colors inside of MovieZoo um, what would you, you would need to do at that point is um, create a texture for each of these channels 
and uh, it won't work with just a color. There actually has to be a bitmap in there. And again, I could be wrong, but this is the only thing that I found that worked. Uh, so you'd have to put a map inside the diffuse channel. And it doesn't have to be anything special. And I'll actually um, go into Photoshop here and just create a 16 by 16 pixel texture and uh, save this as I'm going to use a target file go into my let's see footstool folder here and I'm just going to call this um, let's see I'll call this text footstool underscore two um, so we don't mix those up and uh, I'm going to save that. Now if I come back into Max here and I load uh, this up into all three of these channels, let's go back into our folder. And we're going to go back up a level, two levels, load that same texture up. And I'm actually at this point I could probably select from here. Make an instance and go back up to the third map in the diffuse channel again. Uh, once again, double click on this, make an instance, and now we can actually uh, export this model. And it's gonna we're gonna be able to change these uh, each of these colors, uh, actually remove the textures and change the colors in. in movie zoo so here's how you export um, uh, I'm gonna go in here and do export selected and I'm going to go to my uh, folder here and select ASC and I'm going to name this <coughs> footstool remember you want there will be some consistency in your naming conventions between the uh, ASC file and your texture files. So I'm going to select now. These are, so far as I know, these are the settings that you need to use. This may not be the way it's set up when you first open this. Um, I don't think any of this matters um, as far as static output precision and control output. I don't know, but what seems to work here uh, in terms of geometry is these two settings um, these top four and then all three of these and I'm just going to go ahead and press OK and I'm going to open movie zoo okay I'm just going to create a basic scene here with the empty scene and go to create objects and click on uh, import and I'm going to browse to my folder to my desktop footstool and click on footstool and open and leave all this settings the way they are and then just click OK. That's going to bring the model in and you'll notice that um, it's of course completely white because that's what the textures are but if you go to the edit tab by right clicking on it you can actually take out all of these textures And then you can change the colors in each of these channels. And then, you know, all these other, of course, all these other functions will work for you. And um, that's, that's the way that you can get it in. That's one way you can get it in. And uh, this way, uh, you can obviously edit your colors and um, so on. And that way it'll be, you know, more accessible for different scenes and, uh, you know, other animations that you're doing. So for now I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, a little more of a complex texture by baking the texture.